Hi. Today I want to show you some new texturing technique I learned some uh, time ago during my work on a bigger uh, 3D project. The plan was to build an ocean scene and I realized that uh, the horizon line was always very sharp and um, I tried to find some easy way to get a smooth transition between the water and the sky. And um, I want to show you how I solved this problem. Let's uh, jump right in. At first I need a sky object. So I create a sky. Let's create a texture. So I jump right in there. Texturing. Um, let's go to uh, surfaces and um, there should be something like cloud. Yeah, excellent. All right, um, bit of a different color. I don't really like this. Doesn't look very realistic, although it's not so important at the moment. Yeah, or more something like this. Much better turn up the frequency or better turn it down. Yeah, perfect, should work. So trying to put that texture onto my sky object. Yeah, now we create the floor. Let's do it not with the floor object, but uh, with the disk object. Let's make it very big. I think about 10,000 uh, centimeters should work for this uh, demonstration here. So um, as you can see, just render it here. We've got this very sharp horizon line. That's not what we want. We want a smooth transition. And now I'm going to show you how you can fix that problem only by using textures. Let's use a preset texture. I'm going to the materials in my content browser. This is a very nice texture, water texture. It comes uh, with your Cinema 4D software. So now I'm going to show you how you can get rid of this horizon line. Here we need um, flat mapping. Here we go. This texture um, is uh, it is tiled. This means if a tile is not selected, you see it's a very small piece here, very small area that is textured. And now it is multiplicated very often onto the whole surface till the end of it. My whole disk object is now textured. And that is what we want, but this is a problem in getting a smooth edge around my object. If I use just the alpha channel here, I just want to show you how it does not work. Make a gradient, we want it to be circular. This whole texture here, with all its options, is tiled here onto this area. Let's change that a little bit. It's easier if we get the other way around. As you can see, we've got a problem. That's not what we want. We want the alpha channel not there for, I don't know, 300 times. We want it one time around the edge of the disk object. So that's not the way it works. Go back to the alpha, clear it. Now I show you how it will work. That's the way we want it. Get one smooth horizon back there. We go into the alpha channel, activate it. But we don't use the gradient, but under effects we add a projector. Now we click on this black area here and add the gradient under the projector. So now we add the gradient, change the gradient to circular. Now we've got to do it the other way around again. 
What's a bit difficult is um, that the preview doesn't really show what uh, what's going on. So if you render, it looks completely different. So what we can see here, it is not what we need. The problem is the projection. We go back to our alpha, go back into the projector, and here we go, here we, we have a projection, um, and this is wrong, we need it flat. Much better, but still wrong. Why? The direction of the gradient is wrong. So we turn it around about 90 degrees, and now it should look better. Yep, so the direction is right, but it didn't change anything to the alpha channel we had before. The problem is the projector works independent from, uh, from the texture options here under the texture uh, tag. Here it's great, yeah? we want to tile our water texture. So it's great that tile is activated. But here, under the projector, we've got the deselect tile. And as you can see, uh, we've got only one single alpha area here. Here we've got some, some strange lines. So the problem is that the gradient isn't really perfect. So we make it a bit smaller. Now it should work better. Yep, much better. Go back, go back to the projector. And what we do now is our water area is very small. Too small, of course. We change the size of our alpha channel. And I think we should change it quite a lot. Let's go to 10,000% in all directions. And now hit render. A very nice smooth horizon line. So that's it. Now I have a question for you because I really found no answer to this problem. The uh, water, the liquid material inside of Cinema 4D comes with an activated transparency. The water looks much better, but somehow it messes up the alpha channel. As you can see here, if transparency is activated inside the texture, we've got this strange uh, black edge and if I deselect it it works. The really strange thing about this is that normal transparency can not be the problem and I want to show you why. I make another material and now we activate the transparency only a little bit, about, I don't know, 60% is, seems to be right. Here we go, straight line, so let's go and fix that. Activating alpha channel, adding under effects projector, clicking onto this black area, projection as we had we want it to be uh, flat. We add a gradient. Gradient needs to be circular. Going back to the projector material. Just for testing purposes, yeah, 90 degrees. And let's scale it up. Now, I made a mistake. Well, not really a mistake, I forgot about something. So, as you can see, uh, the transparency seems to work together with the alpha channel in this texture. It doesn't work uh, with this texture. So, if anybody has an answer for this, um, it would be great. I have no idea what's going on. Maybe it's uh, something inside the options here, but they couldn't really fix the problem by changing them, so I'm really not sure what's going on. Because now we have this 
strange black area here. So you see the shape of the disk. If I deselect, it works again. Would be really interesting. If anybody knows what's going on, please tell me. So I hope this tutorial was interesting for some of you. Hope you can use this information for your projects and see you again soon. Bye.